and the G20 event, let's not, let's not forget, is being carried out in the same format as it is being carried out in the other 60 locations. You have the same program rolled out. There's no compromise at all. Like, for example, tomorrow we begin the official program. We have an inaugural ceremony, which is followed by working sessions, which is followed by bilateral meetings, which are followed by interactive sessions. Today we had side events, which were dedicated to film tourism, to the paradise of, and now we have a cultural program in the banquet. What more is left? This absolutely, because I've been part of the G20 events, even other places, as a part of the anti-corruption working group in Guru Gram, et etc. The very fact that it is happening in the same format and the same scale over here as elsewhere itself speaks of the mainstream activity happening in Jammu and Kashmir. And therefore, I think it's in the interest of all of us and maybe in the interest of the integrity of profession and integrity of our the tasks assigned to us that all of us who are attending this meeting will go back home and tell our natives what it is actually like. We are a part of the global world. If we have to move on, if we have to grow, our challenges are global, our concerns are global. It's none less than Prime Minister. You saw the film now, he gave us the mantra life. Life means life for environment. He's a Prime Minister who spoke in COP20 about climate concerns. We are also committed to net zero targets by 2070. So we have awakened up under Prime Minister Modi to accept the global challenges, to live up to the global wedge marks, and our growth has to be global. And Jammu Kashmir is very much a part of that. It's ready to move on to that. So that is one message. Second, as far as the film tourism being discussed over here this afternoon and across the evening, I think there could be no other better place across the world. Across the world. I hope uh, this meeting, G20 third working group meeting in Srinagar, in future, this will encourage and attract not only domestic tourists, more and more and foreign tourists, and also today successfully we discussed the film tourism. We are also discussing tomorrow also same our stakeholders with tourism policy and film tourism. Definitely in coming days, India for tourism, film tourism and film shootings, we are going to attract even foreign countries also. Came here for the first time to Kashmir, that to Bali, that was in 1989. And uh, that time we carried vivid memories of Shami Kapoor uh, sliding down a snow clad hill, then of JJ Shiv Shankar in Gulmarg in the film Aapki Kasam, and so many others of Shikaras in Dal Lake. And that is what attracted us to Kashmir as a being a, a young man that time, that that is how the films were made and that is what we had seen. But unfortunately, 1989 was the last year uh, when, uh, before which insurgency started and thereafter it was a lost almost three decades. And India is a young country. Uh, more than 50% of our population is below 30 years of age and our youth have not seen Kashmir in films. But then that has changed in the past two years. The fact today is that the film policy of Kashmir was introduced in the year 1921 and more than 400 films have uh, been shot now in Kashmir in the past two years, whether it is films, whether it is TV series, whether it is advertisements. And now again, uh, not just uh, whether it is Bollywood, whether it is uh, from Hyderabad, Chennai, from all parts of the country, people are flocking to Kashmir and our youth will again be able to see the beauty of Kashmir. So, uh, we look forward to film tourism in this particular state, and that is what is attracting now tourists again in a big way. The Honorable Minister mentioned that uh, the largest number of tourists visited Kashmir last year, and that is the impact of films 
more and more tourists will be attracted, not just Indian tourists, which is happening now, more and more foreign tourists will be attracted. Kashmir has a lot to offer in terms of scenic locations, in terms of culture, in terms of food, in, and which all of you will be able to experience. And this is going to be the golden era for filming in Kashmir. So, uh, India is bigger than 25 countries of Europe in size and scale. So, we are hosting this G20 in 60 cities of India. Over 215 meetings in 60 cities of India. This is unparalleled and has never been done before. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that we've done almost about 115 meetings of G20 already. Uh, and we've had a very good response from the people of India. We've had a very good response from all the G20 countries and the invitee countries and all the inter international organizations. So the meeting which is being held in Kashmir is very, very important for us because we believe in peace, we believe in progress, we be believe in prosperity. We also believe that tourism is a major driver of growth and that it is a very major driver of job creation. And that film tourism here, which was the subject of today's side discussion, will be a very major area of growth for Kashmir in the years to come.